I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to rebuild a washing machine transmission. First, reach behind your washer and unplug it and turn off the hot and cold water. Disconnect the water hoses and drain hose from the back of the washer. Next, unscrew these two screws. Pull forward and flip this up. Now take a flat blade screwdriver, lift forward, and pull these brackets off. Next you want to pull out this plug right here by squeezing and lifting. Pull this entire shell off. Start by pulling up on this ring and lifting this off. Then turn this around until you find a screwdriver slot. Stick a screwdriver in, pry that lid off. Then use a 7 16 inch ratchet, grab down low, and loosen this bolt. Then the whole agitator will just lift right out. If you have these, you will also have to remove this metal ring and this plastic piece. Pull the whole washer out away from the wall and lay it down on its back. Now pop off these two clips and lift the pump off and swing it out of the way. Disconnect this motor wire. Pull these wires out of here and take out one, two, three bolts. These are half inch. Careful, this is a little bit heavy, but you pull the motor and transmission out just like this. Pull off this cover. Pry out this retaining clip with a screwdriver. Pop out this retaining spring. Lift the clutch off. Take off these two screws. And pop off these two clips to take off the motor. Take off these screws. And use a screwdriver and tap lightly with a hammer to pop the top off. There's a specific tool that takes off these clips that look a lot like a tiny pair of long nose pliers. Um, and it turns out that a tiny pair of long nose pliers, while not perfect, will get the job done just fine. Next, you lift off this metal washer. Pull your old gear off. Here's the transmission taken apart. Here's the transmission rebuild kit I got for $16. Here's the rebuild instructions that came with it. And there's a $6 bottle of gear oil. We start with all the little pieces taken off. There are two retainer racks. If there's an X on this moon-shaped area, you use the retainer rack with two holes and this larger stud. If there isn't, like mine, you use the retainer rack with one hole and the smaller stud. So you put the retainer rack on here, put in the stud here, and tighten that down with an Allen wrench. Put the trip lever on this peg right here, and there's a little tab that goes inside that square hole. Put this thing called a spin pole right here. Put the latch on this peg. This is called the spin gear. This is a spin gear cam, and you install this spring on the outside of this and then you install this on here with the larger side up so it's like this flip this over and drop it in right here put this washer on here put on this retainer clip by spreading it out with a pair of pliers and slide this gear into place to mesh with that gear before you put the transmission back together it's a good idea to hook up the motor temporarily and see if it runs correctly during the spin cycle, this piece spins pretty quickly. During the wash cycle, this bar will spin back and forth, but I can't demonstrate that because it won't do it without water. Another quick test you can do with the power off is if you have it installed correctly, you should be able to spin the gear freely in this direction as long as you want. But if you try to go this way, eventually it locks. Put in your SAE 8W90 gear oil. Bolt your lid back on and button everything back together. Thank you for watching and good luck fixing your washing machine.